Creativity is an addiction. I go to it. I need it. I crave it. I I want your creativity as well, because what you're creating is something that I could benefit with in my own life. I'll pay you for it, but I still have to have your creativity. And maybe there's something that I have that you need. That's what it's all about. It's about sharing. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Fueling the first steps of a new 24-hour adventure. It becomes what we make of it, right? Or do we even have that type of control? It becomes what we make of it. You know what research shows? That the availability of expecting during non-working hours causes stress and anxiety. Although we spend a lot of time being aware of what we're thinking about and how we think, studies from 2018 point us in the direction of actually living in two different places at the same time. When one is performing a desired action, conscious thoughts about alternative plans occupy the mind. Which makes me wonder, what path am I truly trying to fuel here? I write before sunrise to help purify the thought process before beginning the well-planned out schedule. I'm very guilty of being in a moment while thinking, hmm, I wonder what if. And it's in that area of the core transaction That's where I run into fear, shame, doubt, and guilt. I don't stand by and allow negative energy to win. Knowing a thought has two sides is the physical act of being aware. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Being aware while your mind is thinking of something else. While you're listening, what are you really thinking about on the other side of your brain? While you're driving, while you're working, you know, there's always two things going on at the same time. And that's where you get stuck. And it's like, oh, my God, I'm such a failure. What am I going to do? Oh, oh, how am I going to make my way through this? Who am I supposed to call? And and I, you can't find somebody to help you. Well, help yourself out. Be a listener. Be aware. This is the Daily Mess. So between us, is there such a thing as I feel it in my bones? Have you said that? Man, I feel it in my bones. I'm feeling it in my bones. An ancient premonition or warning. It first appeared in a Shakespearean production. Well, here in the South, we kind of add to that. When it's really super cold outside, oh, it's cold to the bone. Oh, and when it is cold to the bone, you feel it in your bones. Do the bones actually really know? Do they serve as receivers of a message transitioning through life? The experience. Do you learn to trust it? Intuition versus actuality. Where do you go to trust? And what happens to those who've said, I love you to the bone. I love you to the bone. What happens when that bone breaks? Does it require a splint and or physical therapy? I know, I know. A lot of open-ended questions in an age where something as solid as your bones is met with the term, well, we only live once. Do we rely on deep feelings? And how do you trust them? That leads me to another body part, the gut. I know you've said this. I got this gut feeling. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My gut's telling me something else. The body takes in so much and is accused of even more. Enough. To make your brain hurt. Ouch. How do you deal with those moments? When you say things like, I feel it to the bone. Or how do you deal with those moments where you're causing yourself stress and anxiety because your thoughts are in two different places at the same time? Now, because I'm a daily writer, I'm able to digest a lot of this. I take a lot of notes and I learn from those places where my mind is traveling. Um, I, I was just with a comedian and this comedian was so brilliant in his way of sharing stories. And I asked him if he was a stream thinker. And he says, yes, I am. I, I, I'm there. His name is Steve Trevino. He's, he's got a special on YouTube right now. And, and the thing is, is that we talked about the process of taking what you're experiencing and just laughing about it. Don't take yourself so seriously. Yes, you're going to think in so many different ways. And as you move through your day, what you were thinking about at 7 a.m. is nothing compared to what you're going to be thinking at 3 p.m. So take some notes and find out who you were in the earlier part of the day and not compare it to the later you. What you do is you just take notes in just being entertained by you because life is that it's entertainment. 
It's not meant to be boom, 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 boom. A lot of people think that's how you're going to find success, but it's not. That's what I did for like 36 years in terrestrial radio. Boom, boom, boom. And it got me nowhere. I did as they said, not as I wanted. And and wow, I, I had success. But in reality, it wasn't my success. It was their success because I did exactly what they needed me to do. So now in this present place of now, when it comes to the essential job and all the things that I do, sure, I work with people. I collaborate with people. But the other side of my thoughts is saying, keep it to yourself. Otherwise, you're going to walk off this planet, go strolling through the universe saying, "Hmm, I didn't get to be me. I didn't get to be me. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.